Um, what is happening? It's happening. <laughs> we should talk about where we are. We're at the Fillmore. Why? At the Dinosaur Junior concert. Because she doesn't need a Because I am currently on tour with Dinosaur Junior. She's legit. I'm she legit. Just, people see her coming and she just goes through doors and everyone looks and they're jealous. This is my... You're also legit. Just as impressive. You're, you're so legit. You can't quit. Oh, God. Did I just say that? That's so awful. In order to make this an informative video, um, not just a happy, joyous occasion, because I'm seeing Lindsay, who lives in the Czech Republic. She's hardly ever in the U.S., and now she's touring all over the place. Um, we're going to talk about eating healthy, because she's managing to do it on a tour bus going around the country for a month. So I'm do, trying. Do you have any tips? Um, yeah. I, I guess the best thing I can think of is, like, when you're on Who's tour, on don't just eat whatever's there. Like, try and, and just think about it still. Like, it's so easy when you're on the road to just eat whatever's there. Sure. Like, oh, it's great. It's, Best you know, food. whatever. Yeah. And instead, it's just like, oh, cool. Well, there's, like, a bag of chips or, you know, there's some fruit. And always eat fruit. Fruit so, is, like, super important. Do you have to get it yourself or is it sometimes there? Food? Fruit's usually there. Most people so, don't eat it because they're just, like, to take it for granted. And they're, like, you know, beeline for the chocolate chip cookies. Right. But... Luckily, I'm on tour with a band that has a very healthy, like, writer. And a writer is, like, what they want the promoters to bring for us to eat. And so we usually have a lot of kale chips and, like, seaweed snacks and rice cakes and regular rice puffs, everything organic. We have so much tea. And we have so much ginger tea. Coconut water. Everybody's, like, really super into that. And, yeah, coconut water because we have to stay higher than it. She made me take an almond yogurt that was made out of soy? Yes. Okay. It's totally... Oh, no, it's made out of... Almond yogurt. Just yeah, like. but it was flavored with kimchi. I'm gonna have to eat that. Um, it's delicious. So yeah, just stay proactive and vigilant, and take care of yourself. It's important. What else? I don't know. It doesn't have to be that informative. Just talk. Um. Yeah. So like, it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome being here with you. It's awesome, like, you know, for an hour. Yeah. But we got to make a video. Lindsay's going to Oregon, and she's thinking about living there, possibly, so we're going to start a farm together. We've been talking about an animal sanctuary for the past three years. Yeah. Before it was cool. <laughs> it must be noted that we're innovating. We did it first. Well, she's the first to think of a pygmy zebra. She wants a miniaturized zebra. I don't know how we're going to get that. <laughs> Just breeding thousands of zebras till we get the right one. We're just gonna have to keep breeding zebras and eventually it will happen. Genetics are against us, but it will happen. Her, play the odds. Genius idea was to just have a normal zebra and just not feed it very much. Uh, this is a great video. We don't promote animal cruelty. This was just an idea. It was she rescues every animal that you come across, first of all. I try it. What else? Here we go. Her cat is adorable and she takes well, better care yeah, of it. Yeah, and check out this pin that Laura oh, made me. Oh. It's of my cat. His name is Iggy. But actually looks pretty bad. He's hairless and he's That's really cute. In the world. And he's a homosexual and he is very cute. He's the best. I love Iggy. Love your cats because they're awesome. Adopt a cat if you don't Adopt have one. Adopt a cat if you don't have one. You're gonna love it. There's so many cats out there that are so rad. Don't breed. Adopt. Ever. Spay and neuter. Bob Barker. Um, tea Tree and Iggy could be boyfriend and girlfriend. We've talked about that for years. I don't remember ever talking about that. We did. Yeah, we did. We did. You what? said, like, Tea Tree and Iggy should get married, actually. Iggy's a gay, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Then that's what I told you. Iggy was gay, and you're just like, no, well, he's not even a cat. Well, maybe Tea Tree can get a sex change. Well, that could be possible. Cats do that. All the time. I have like albums sometimes. This is the worst video, but I love it. <laughs> I am so into this video right now. Oh my god. Your hair looks great. Thank you. Your hair looks awesome too. It's like long and curly. I think you should shave this side. It would be badass. I think I should shave my head? Well, you should talk to my friends. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Like the chair. I can't believe this is being recorded. This shouldn't ever like go anywhere. Well, it's going to, first of all. <laughs> Where are you going to put this? There's nothing informative about it. Or okay. There's no nutritional value to this I'm, video. I'm about to get, I'm going to drop some knowledge. Drop, drop it. It's important to keep your body alkaline. I'm going to make another actual video on that. Yeah. Uh, 
And what happens is you have basic, which is a pH of about 7. All organic material has a pH, and our bodies need to be alkaline because cancer thrives in an acidic environment. So you're supposed to nod. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Agree. So it's important to eat leafy green vegetables. Things that will cause your body to become too acidic are things like uh, refined sugar, meat, dairy products, uh, oils. So all the unhealthy junk food stuff, like Cheetos, donuts, that will cause your body to be very acidic. And strangely enough, things like lemons or uh, broccoli will really alkalize your body. So it's the effect that it has, not necessarily what the pH of the food itself is. It's complicated. So it kind of cancels it out. Even though it's acidic, it's not really acidic right. in the way that you think it would be. Drink water with lemon, and it'll keep you alkalized. And for that 30 seconds, this video is relevant, and it will be posted, and I don't give a damn. Yay! I'm so sick of that. Legit. Official. That lady can stop yelling at me. <laughs> oh, I want to show my shorts, though. I painted these last night. These are so awesome, especially in, like, real life. I don't know how to they're get way, it. They're way cooler. But, um... This was a design that I saw in another pair that was really expensive, so I did it to some older, crappy pairs. She's so talented. She makes pins. Look, she's short. She has a tattoo. We can show you. I have a tattoo. She has a best tattoo. It's all like robots. It's really stuff. badass. This star is old. It's not part of it. So, yeah, but other than that. Yeah. I love it. It's an old Soviet children's book drawing that I am super into. I wish the camera were better. It's not going to get how awesome it is. Whatever. Um. Yes. We both have dumb phones. Mm -hmm. We're both vegan, vegetarian, long time ladies who love animals and nature, music. We bond over that. Having a good time. We know we have yeah. a mutual friend named Casey. Hey, Casey. Hey! He's very tall. And he's weird in a good way. Oh, he's so weird. He, he likes to make lots of weird jokes that most people think of. And would probably offend. And that's why we love him. I feel like most of the time they're not jokes. They're probably real. Okay. And that makes it even better, though. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, and since we said hi to Casey. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Natalie. And Joe Matt. And Joe Matt. Oh, I shouldn't say people's last names. <laughs> Joe Matt is two first names. So, okay, even though it is Don't stalk him, people. He's a cartoonist. He would love to have people stalk him. Oh, shh. Sh sh He's totally findable now. Anyway, okay. This video is so long. <laughs> minutes right now. Um, Are you going to edit this? No. Should I? Yeah. I never edit anything. It's ridiculous. We seem so silly. We are. Um, I assume that people want to see the natural. If you edit it, you don't know if the person did like two hours and condensed it and they were only articulate for like a second. You know? If Jenna does that, it's good. Yeah. She's, she's we will. Awesome. Jenna Marbles. She's the best. Who else do we like together? You don't like Regina Spector and you were the reason yeah. that Casey wouldn't listen to her for years and I was so mad because like he wouldn't believe my taste in the second that he tried like whatever. Um we like there was other bands I told you to like play on your when you were doing the thing with KLX. I don't remember what they are. Oh, um Autolux. Autolux. Mm -hmm. What else? There were a few she has really good taste in music. She has awesome taste in music. I'm a little more you're obscure, like really good. I, I made you come, like, when I'm touring bands. I'm like, Laura, come, come here to this band. And she's like, I've never heard of this band. I'm like, you will. You always make me come to the band. <laughs> oh, that's getting edited. Um, <laughs> please edit that. Oh, my God. This that's hilarious. Me. Okay. Uh, these are some posters. <laughs> Mission of Burma. I like that band. I'm into that band. Buzzcocks, of course. Sonic Youth. They're amazing. Sonic Youth. Sonic Youth. Really good friends with Dinosaur Jr band that I'm on tour with right now. She goes with everybody. That's not true. You're just, just you're, I'm lucky. Lindsay's a big deal. I don't know if you, here, you guys don't understand this. This girl is a big deal and she's known Shut up. throughout the so land. Not, I don't have like 7,000 fans oh. that know me about home First study. of all, it's 8,300. <laughs> Excuse me, 8,300. Beautiful posters. <laughs> okay. I think this is about it. I think this video should be done now. I think we should make it to 10, but okay. Just, you have to sign out. You have to say, like, um, yeah, so, oh, this is another thing. Be efficient. Even if your jeans rip, keep wearing them. These jeans ripped, and they look ter terrible. No, they don't look terrible. Stand up and great. I should, everybody tells me I should throw these jeans out. I still wear them because I'm just like, keep it real, folks. I'm so sorry. I just said that again. 
That's embarrassing. She jogs. She's into fitness. Not, not right now, but yeah, I'm super into well, like running. Reason. Yeah, um, I hurt my legs, so that's that. But you are a jogger and you care about athletics. Love to ride. How did you get back into it? Because you took a break. Um. Well, I just started doing it. I started pacing myself. I was like, okay. My friend told me he was like, just start going for ten minutes a day. Yeah. And like, I had absolutely no lung power and. I just started pushing myself and pushing myself five minutes more and five minutes more and I did it every single day. Some people say you're supposed to like take a break but I think it's good to just like do it every single day because you get into the habit of it. And soon I was doing 15 minutes and then I started doing like 20 minutes and then I started doing half an hour and I was just, I was finally up at the time I stopped running almost to an hour. and. Of the consistent job, yeah. Like, that's of like not stopping at all, and it's okay. Like when you start off to like have to take a break and like walk for a little bit, but just like maintain your heart rate, and then start jogging again, you know, and get to that point. It took me like about a month to finally get to like the part where I was like happy, and I just keep, kept wanting to push myself. I could never like you know do a half marathon, but I'm hoping that I will be able to do that sometime in the next year. Well, so. you will. So. This is a good video. You guys learned a lot. You learned about being alkalized alkaline and you learned about cardio and cats, buzzcocks, <laughs> mission to Burma, yeah, dinosaur junior. Oh, recommend three bands that these people have never heard of. Um, oh my gosh, okay. Uh, Auto Lux, like we discussed earlier, they're awesome. Um, it can be less or more if you feel restricted. So this band, Russian Circles, you might not have heard of them, they're awesome, pretty cool. Um, and the audience didn't work at Amoeba, so anything you say is, yeah. Um, listen to, like, anything obscure and psychedelic. There's a band called Dead Meadow that's really awesome. Mm. That stuff is really cool. There's a lot of, like, bands you might not have heard of, but just listen. Go to a record store and pick out an album that just looks cool. It might be really cool. You could find a lot of awesome things in the dollar section. There you go. You heard it from the best. Uh, I'll ask you later about 10 recommendations and we'll put it in a little... Okay, yeah. when I have more time to think about it, I'm really bad at doing things on the spot. I know, I shouldn't have sprung on you, I'm sorry. But um, there's our video, it's really good. Yay. You loved it? I love her. She's cute. She's married, back off, first of all. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye, Lindsay. Thanks for being my guest. Thanks for having me. You're so cute. Shut up. <laughs>